Oh, hey out there. Hey out there, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, it's Thursday, the 12th, I think. And uh, my paint came in for the Bronco, so I'm going to see what this looks like. I did a little sample piece, you know, just to see if, hmm, what's this going to look like before I do anything. I think it's going to work. So what I basically want to do is just the top because of the top, not only is it fading, but every time it rains, it leaves streaks all over the dark blue. So I think I could freshen that up. Now I could go with the factory. The factory is like a copper kind of, see on the bottom there? But, uh, I was also thinking, you know what, what if I get something that kind of matches the wheels? Hmm. How would that look? So I got that Rust-Oleum Gold, and this is the Rust-Oleum Gold right here. Now the camera's going to pick it up. It's not really bright, but it's got a, like a little texture to it. This is Rust-Oleum Rust Hammer Tone. I bought this, I thought maybe I'd have to tone it down a little with like, maybe mix some black or something in there. Or maybe some copper color, but I don't know. I, I, got, I ain't got pretty much work. It's kind of in between. It's a little lighter than the wheels, so I like that. I actually wanted the wheels, I expected the wheels to be a brighter. They're supposed to be bronze. Um, but, you know, they don't look like a picture. That's with the art. Dang it. A little fly flew in my ear. Dang you. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try this. So we'll, we'll do the top first. And if that comes out okay, then well, I think I'll do this bottom part too. Blue and gold, right? It's blue and royal. What is that? You see all eight colors? So. Hmm. Oh, and I got the rack up there and it's all bolted up and wired in. So I'm I'm trying to figure out some kind of strategy here. I don't want to pull the wires and everything. I didn't put any disconnects in anything. That's the issue. But you know the main visual paint is around the edge, right? In the back, the top is all accessible here. The ins inside here, I can get to it. I just got to work around the rack. I think I might be able to do it. So first thing I'm going to do is try to light sand the whole thing and wash it. And then, if that works, we'll see how that goes. If that works out. Then I'll roll it back under the carport there and see if I can work on it from there. Paint it. I don't want to paint it out in the sunshine like I did the other Bronco. You know, got too hot for that paint. This is a, like a really thick, tacky paint. You know, I even thinned some of it out and it still was like drying on me as I was putting it on. But it was a hot day. That was my own fault. That's what they call a lack of experience, right? So we'll see how this goes. Now I'm not feeling my best, but I haven't been feeling my best. I don't get it. I've been waking up with a little cough in the morning. But at the same time, I got these springtime allergies. Is that what it is? Because I usually have to get up, take my allergy pills, and I'm good the rest of the day. And then, uh, yeah. So I don't get it. I went hiking yesterday. I wasn't feeling good in the beginning, but after I was through, I was feeling good. Later on in the evening, my chest is hurting. I was like, man, what is that? So who knows, right? It could be some kind of lung disease, you know, after 30 years in the construction business. It's a lot of dust. Concrete dust, wood dust. Who knows what else is flying in the air? Fiberglass, drywall, paint fumes, welding fumes. Uh, so I gotta hang in there. 
Four more years and I can pull my pension from the plumbers union. Yeah. Gotta wait till I'm 62. Holy cow. Let's see if we can make it, right? Alright. Got it washed. Got it sanded. This is what the original color looks like. See that? It's kind of a copper. See how scratched up the glass is? I'm thinking of putting a new window in. $180. I think it's more like $200 with shipping, but we'll see about that. Same on these windows. These windows are scratched up pretty good. These are only uh, 80 bucks, I think, for the two. Let's just say another 100, right? So, Nice weather to be out here. It's a little windy. That's cool. Uh, so I'm I'm trying to let it dry, and then I'll I'm gonna see if I got any more tape. Mask it off, and then. Uh, Roll it under into the shade over there, and hopefully it doesn't get too windy that the that the leaves and everything are blowing around. That's all I need is leaves blowing on my fresh paint, right? Dang tree! All right, guys, it's almost five o'clock, and uh, I had to run to the hardware store and pick up some. I couldn't find my little roller. And I, I needed some more masking tape, so I got that all on there. And you know, while you're masking stuff, you know, say hey, there's a little bit of water down in the in the rubber, the window seal here. So it's like I just let it dry a little more. Don't want any issues with that. I've done it before. Get painting and oh, water comes dripping out of something. Mess you all up. Uh, so, in case you didn't know. These things are hinged, right? So just bolt hinges, lift it up on this side. And I think that'll work. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do these sides first. You see there's a gap here. I'll do the edge across there because I want to get in there with the brush. Make sure to get behind the edge here. But yeah, I'll do these because this is shows. This is gonna show, this has to have a good finish on there around the edge, around the back. On the other side, I can get to, but the reason why I got it up like this is so I can get under there and do the middle part. I don't do the middle part in stages. I'll do the outside first, and then I'll do the inside, because the inside doesn't have to be that perfect. And then I can work with that. I can get in there and do at least half more than half and get the other side without lifting it. My issue is, uh, my issue now is the way I got the truck and it's like, it's almost five o'clock. The sun's on the back end and that's the important part. So this is warm, I don't want it warm. It's gonna be a while before the sun goes down. I just, ah, dang you. So I'll just wait. I'll wait. Prepped it real good, I hope, this time. You know, I learn something every time. This hammer tone paint, so it's got a texture finish and goes on pretty thick, so you gotta be very careful on runs because of the texture, right? Like on these vertical sections here, put it on too thick, that texture will start to run, so you gotta like you know, it's, it's a learning curve there. On the flat, it's easy. You can put it on thick and it it spreads itself out. You know, it's kind of like a self-leveling stuff. You know, rust only am hammered. So. Now, can you see all the scratches in the window there? Oh, yeah, that, that looks pretty bad. 
so I think it'd be worthwhile to, to redo that. But see, as this is the color I'm going to put on there. That's pretty darn close. It's a little richer, right? I hope so. Not too rich, though. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, I can. Th I think I can do it like that. I'll have to move those four by fours. I'll probably put something over here to hold this up. Pull the four by fours out just so I can get in there with the rollers. But for right now, that's what that is. I can probably put a four by four right here. Don't want to screw this up though, so I'll take care of that one at a time. And Danny, this is what the uh, this is what this paint job looks like. I think it's down to the primer. I don't think this is just clear. I think it's that's I don't know oxidation. Should I try wet sanding it first? Looks like it's cracking or is it? We'll do something with that. That's coming up. See, this side's not bad. I mean, the sides aren't bad. It's the top here. Body's nice and straight. This cool bumper I made, right? A lot of people ask me about this bumper. Um, Manuel was asking me where did I get this bumper. I made this bumper. This is the Ford Win. Uh, this is the uh, Warren winch mount. I don't think they make this anymore. I was looking on their website for their. <laughs> I don't even think they list Broncos anymore. This is a heavy duty piece, so I just built on top of that. Put some steel on top and cut and bend and. Here's a little project, you know. Learn as you go. Alright, so I think that's it for today. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I am working on a video from our little trail run. You know, like a part two, you know, we go into the forbidden zone out there and, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to piece things together. It's not done yet, that's all. I'm working on it. I lost my inspiration there for a while. I gotta get my mind off it and refresh, right? So, working on this here. Table and chair. What?